At the festival at the beginning was like a, a friends reunion after the pandemic crisis. We were supposed to be 20 and uh, at the first event uh, we, we were 150 people and uh, in 2023 we did it uh, like a, as a real and huge festival. So we had some big sponsors like La Sportiva, Vibram and Steel White Country. White Country was the, the first one we had. Good morning, we are the fourth edition of the Valle del Lorco Climbing Festival. And for the next couple of days, we're gonna be bouldering, doing workshops, and uh, I've heard there's a pretty good party. So let's go hang out with them. So uh, we are doing here a, a big work workshop. Um, we will show the people how to set up a portal edge, how to chumar and how to haul a heavy haul bag. It, it's very easy on the ground because you can stand around the portal ledge, but when you are hanging on the wall, it's the, the crux is that you don't have much space. There are two sides, you see there is wall side and uh, the air side, so you should always put uh, this protected side to the wall, yeah. but it's right, it's correct. And when you hang it at the wall, you have to adjust all these straps to make it even, and then it's, uh, it's perfect. We're doing a workshop about uh, how to set up a portal ledge, uh, to Jumar, just being on the wall in general. First of all, we're going to make sure that everybody's safe. And then uh, Babsi's teaching them now how to set up the portal ledge, because on the wall it's quite, actually quite uh, tough. So first time on the floor, it's, uh, it's a bit easier. And afterwards they can try it, uh, like maybe hanging on the rope. And then I set, I'm setting up a station here to, uh, first of all, for people to Jumar up, uh, like a fixed line. Um, and then they can reach, I already prepared the portal edge, like a two-person big portal edge, and they can sit uh, and enjoy the view. Because it should be the length of your arm and not longer, because when it's longer you're always hanging on the arm and you want to sit down. This is... You can find a lot of events. There is a full program and you can find some climbing workshops, but also activities that are like yoga, acro yoga, slackline, a lot of things that you can do even if you cannot climb, so it's open to everyone. Uh, first of all, we'll do some taping up, so I'll give you a roll, unless you have your own tape, I'll give you a roll of tape. I'm Pete Whitaker and today we are at a crack school event at the Val de Orco Festival and I'm hoping to teach these wonderful participants, hand jamming, thin hand jamming, fish jamming, and then some stacking techniques and knee locks. So we found Beatrice Colli, who right now is at the workshop with Pete Whitaker, and this workshop is put out by Wild Country, and together they're teaching everything from cracked gloves, finger lock, hand jamming techniques. They will, uh, they will loosen up a little bit, I think, in, in the session, yeah. I'm going to show you two types of hand jams, uh, thumbs up and thumbs down. Uh, and I always say with any sort of jamming, then the body part that we're putting into the crack, make it as thin as possible before we put it in. So whether it's our hand, our fist, our knee, our body, arm, leg, whatever it is, thin as possible. So for our hand, we want to make like an L shape to start with, because that makes it as thin as possible. So we're putting it in like this. We don't want to put it in like this because it prevents us putting it in, essentially. So as thin as possible. And then we want to move our thumb I say towards the little finger and then also pushing down with the thumb like this to tense this bit of the hand. So give, give those two things a go, feel free to use your feet in the crack, we'll give it 10 minutes and then I'll show you how to use the feet. I 
I would go. I would go with top hands, uh, thumbs down. Okay. Yeah, yeah. In Valle del Orco, you have uh, many different kind of climbing. You can start from bouldering. We have uh, many beautiful sectors, and uh, from easy easy line to like very hard and high boulders. And then uh, you can do a lot of trad climbing. This is like the heaven for trad climbers. And uh, what I love is uh, that you can find everything in like five kilometers. So from the end of the tunnel. You can see beautiful mountains and then going up for five kilometers you can find everything you want. So we're about to join Hamish MacArthur who's on the Vibram team and a really really good comp climber like on lead and bouldering and he's out here trying some of the comp boulders so I guess we'll go catch up with him and see what he's trying or sending maybe. Oh so many you. How many me? I think the scariest bit is like this area. So we got double stack. for Amish Makata. I mean, we were kind of expecting that, but still, it's pretty high. Uh, I think the best thing of the festival is to have uh, with uh, our big community of friends, all these big athletes who come uh, and join us, and uh, they say us to feel at home at the Refugio Fonti Minerali and uh, be together with us for the party. My favorite thing of the festival at all is the fact that you can meet all the athletes and understand that they are normal, normal people. They party, they dance, and it's so fun, so fun. A lot of people came to the festival and they were super happy because what we do is not only a climbing festival, you know, there are many climbing festivals in the world, but they are just about climbing and talks. Here we wanted people to be a family and uh, that's uh, mainly what is Valeor Climbing Festival. of uh, Valle Orco Climbing Festival uh, for us will be like uh, an outdoor festival so we want to explode and explore in all the, um, all the activities you can do in the outdoor in the mountains. This place is magic and it's not only about climbing but it's about trail running, about skiing, about kite surf, about windsurf so people from all over the world can discover the beauty and uh, the mountains we have here in Orco Valley. <laughs>